royalty, no vision, no, no hope, and no production, and no anointing, and, and no word. And then he said that the fuck is cut off from the mold. There's no fellowship. No fellowship. And, and then the herd. There's no herd in the stall. And when there is no herd in the stall, there's no maturity, there's no protection, there's no shelter. That's the fact. The fact is that we're in a messed up position, I'm about to say. That's the fact. But faith tells me, yet. Yet means in spite of the facts. Yet means nevertheless. Nevertheless, in spite of the facts, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to praise God in spite of whatever is going on. I got to praise it. The fact is that he said that there will be a man born of a woman that had nothing to do with a man. All right. All right now. Well, from the beginning, he, he made a man without the help of a woman, but with the help. Just been in 
in church, but you're out of fellowship. You ought to try Jesus today. I heard the preacher say for 400 long years, God's people were complaining. God had told them that if you look at it in the book of Numbers, for those long years that they wandered in the wilderness, complaining. God is tired of man complaining. If you want to get from complaint to praise, you got to meet Jesus. Why don't you come right now? Come just as you are. Stand on your feet. You've been sitting long enough. Why don't you stand? You've been sitting long enough. Stand on your feet. Now while you're standing, what I want you to do is look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, is it you that God is speaking to? And if something is happening and if you feel the presence of the Lord moving in your life, why don't you just move from where you are? Get out of your new comfort zone and just answer this call. This may be the last time. Jesus is waiting.
they're standing. We have old Kilgore Church family stand. Amen. We got some family, brother. Come on, Cool Breeze. Get away from that. <laughs> Come on, Ken, folk. That's all right. Raise your hand, too. <laughs> hey, man. All right, now, all y'all who stood, who came from the fathers? I know we got some folk back there from my brother came from North Carolina. North Carolina, as they call it. <laughs> Amen. Thank y'all uh, for coming. Oh, candy well, candy man. Come on. Look for your guests. Mom, baby doll, you ain't gonna stand for your husband? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get him and Deacon Williams. They just taking over. <laughs> but, but since you're from the Negro School of T.L. Dasby, everybody in the room, all color folks. Even you, Chief Hunter, you ain't close. <laughs> all right. I, well, I call, I, I gave them North Carolina, but they can claim for the same thing. We still need him to go Democrat, either way you go. North Carolina has to get <laughs> We want to thank all of our presenters. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Looking all the way now. Uh, do, do I have any other uh, Omega Psi Phi in the house before I get on the pastor thought? Huh? Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, yeah. and, and see, I didn't even know you were there. Oh, Lord. But y'all okay today. Cap, Cap Apple Sauce said y'all at home, okay? So when y'all go to the back, y'all just, you know, have at home. I allow the ladies to do that purple and go. They know we are Crimson and Cream Church. Ain't that right, Delta's in the house? All right. <laughs> oh. All right, we finished. Again, we want to thank everybody for coming and supporting my dads and these kings of Kilgore, there are some refreshments uh, at the back. If there are no other announcements, the last words will be by Pastor Thaw. We want to thank him again for coming all the way from Dallas and delivering such a deep word. Amen. God bless you and may keep his prayer. Thank you for staying. Amen. Receiving the word. They got a man right back there. You got a twin. Fanny is that? What's your name? Yes, sir. Anderson. Anderson, I got a first cousin that looked just like you back here. Look at that. It looked like Tars Pollock, my cousin. Look just like him. Amen. I need to take a picture and send you with Tars. You got a twin here <laughs> in Texas. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, for real, uh, I think some of them went out to the God too. All right, y'all wave your hand. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you, Pastor Woods, for allowing us to come and stand in this. I'm taking for granted to stand in this place. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. We magnify you. We exalt the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word burning in our hearts. Now to the God of peace who brought again from the dead the Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make us perfect in every good work to do thy will, working in us that is well pleasing in thy sight. To Jesus Christ our Lord, to him be glory, dominion, majesty, power, henceforth now and forevermore, and all the people say amen. amen. Yeah. <laughs>